When you see this icon, pause the presentation. Restart when you're ready. The eSkull National 5 Galax Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. So Falche gan in tres lesson catch video furo agus kuasa how where do you stay and where are you from catch video furo agus kuasa how Now these two questions are very similar but very different Those who are adults doing this course may realize the slight difference between these a bit more than those who are still in school But what is the difference well, catch a vilu fido means where do you live. Catch a vilu fido. Could be could also mean where do you stay or where do you stay. This is an important structure which allows us to learn about Gaelic spelling and to express thoughts about the place that we live, that we stay at. However, Gaelic speakers do not tend to ask you this question unless you're staying somewhere overnight. But catch a vilu fido, a vilu fido has in Tayosta. Where do you stay? Are you staying at the hotel? They will usually ask you another question. Ko asahau. Where are you from? Ko asahau. Now, if ko looks familiar to you, we encountered it back in the first lesson. Ko asahau is an interesting question. The reason we make this very uh, overt here is it causes learners a bit of a problem initially because ko usually means who. So a lot of learners panic when they hear ko and assume the person is asking them who they are, as in ko, usually quite shortly after having told the person their name. For example, you hear people go, Jim Tenem Horst, I was Mr. Calvin. I guess ko asa how? Well, I've, I've just told them that name. How, how could you? I must be terrible at Gaelic. I can't even say my name properly. But no, ko actually, eh, and there's another question, ko leishu or ko leishiv, eh, depending on who you're speaking to, Come from the time when who were your people, your clan, so to speak, was more important where exactly you lived. So Koasahau is a remnant of that, which now means where are you from. By the way, Koleshu or Koleshiv is who do you belong to? Um, who are your people? Koleshu, Koleshiv. And you will hear that from time to time. But if we're going to be talking about Kachavilufuroch and Koasahau, we need to know uh, some enemin arches, some Gaelic place names. And we're going to Quite a few are going to appear. You can go through them at your leisure, but we'll highlight some of the most important ones. Uh, we're also going to make a supplementary video to this one, which explains some of the aspects of these um, place names. So the first one are Balchin Mora. Bala meaning a town, Balchin Mora, big towns. And the ones on the in the bold, I would recommend you make sure you know. Dunedin, Edinburgh, Dunedin, Glasgow, Glasgow, Glasgow. Oberyen, Aberdeen, Oberyen, Aberdeen, Dungey, Dundee, Dungey, Dundee, Inverness, Inverness, you'll see that word Inverfear quite often, um, Piarst, Perth, and Strelai, Stirling. The right hand side, there's a range of other uh, Scottish towns, Balchin, there, which you can look at at your leisure. Then we move to Egeltoch, the highlands, the place where Gaelic is spoken. Egeltoch, that's what Egeltoch means. There are obviously parts of the highlands where Gaelic has um, deteriorated to the extent there's no uh, communities of uh, native speakers anymore, but there are um, people from other areas who have moved to these areas, and of course, many learners. Um, Gaelic place names in the highlands, um, important ones are Innerfjohren. Uh, Dingwall, there is another word for Dingwall, Balachal, but Inner Fjohren is the one you'll see on the road signs. Uh, Inner Uige, Wick, Inner Uige, Inner Thjorsa, Thurzo, Inner Thjorsa, um, and Geristan, Fort William, and Geristan, Kauna Yusich, can you see Kauna Yusich, Inner Narain, Nairn, Inner Narain, and Owapo, Owapo. And again, there's a big list on the other side of Highland Towns. You might want to pause it and look at them, but it's up to yourself. Um, again, there will be an, a video which looks at the aspects of these. And, uh, of course, Gaelic is currently speaking, most the area where it is most currently spoken is in Nahilinen Amui, the Outer Isles. In Chugal, the Outer Hebrides are Nahilinen Shear or Nahilinen Inyer. 
the Western Isles. Um, if you look on the, the left hand side, there's the six main islands uh, with their largest settlement. Yoas, uh, Uas, Stornavag, Stornaway, Stornavag, Neherig, Harris, and Taraburst, Tarbert, Ustitua, North Uist, Ochnamadug, Ochmadi, Bainafula, Bainbecula, Balavani, Balavani, Ustjis, South Uist, Ochbursdale, Och Boysdale, Barai, Barra, Barachastel, Castle Bay. And there's some other islands included on the map. Of course, there are other Gaelic speaking islands, um, some with more speakers than others, um, and they are sometimes called Nahil and Stui, the Inner Hebrides. Um, other parts of um, the old Gaeltoch that are no longer part of the Corlin Gaeltoch, the Highland Council, is Erigail, Argyll, and um, historically part of Erigail, Argyll, um, but now part of Egeltoch are Negarev Kriachan, uh, the Rough Bounds, and Lochaber, um, which is the above Erigail, Lochaber. Um, and of course, we have the great island of Skye, Anchilan Skianoch, the Isle of Skye, Anchilan Skianoch, uh, its main town being Pushtri. And there are other islands and towns connected with Sky there. Um, there's Kola, I guess, Chirig, Kol and Tyree, Chirig, Tyree, uh, Mule, Mull, um, Mule, uh, Tobermori, Tobervire, Tobervire, uh, Tobermori is the main town in Mull. And a quick one, the shortest place name in Gaelic, E, Iona, E. Or Ilan E or E Halam Kidia, a Kalmuth Isle. Um, you also see Arshna Morochen and Avorvanya, big Gaelic speaking areas, very sparsely populated but still with their own Gaelic speaking tradition. On the mainland, many uh, boats weave from this port in Tauban, the small bay in Tauban, and it's in an area called Warna, Warn, and um, there's an island just at the coast called Lismore. Lismore. Um, Ile, Big uh, area with uh, island famous for whiskey, lots of Gaelic still spoken down there. And it's near Kinchira, Kintyre, um, and the town of Inarura, where the Campbells have their seat. Chogal in the Cowell Peninsula, um, with its Gaelic tradition. And there's Bala Ely, where the Erigail, Exbodge, uh, the Argyll and Butte Council sit. Um, now, to s reply to Catch of Eluffuro, that's a uh, big information dump for you, but to answer Catch of Eluffuro, there are three ways to say this, um, but they all start with Hami of Furo. So, to say I live in, you say Hami of Furo, Aln in, in the place name, and Aln in is the default for in in Gaelic. Hami of Furo, Aln in, in your niche, I live in Inverness, Hai of Furo in Glasgow. He lives in Glasgow. Hai a furoch on in Glasgow. Ha katriane a furoch on in Tunisia. Ha nyeliad a furoch on in Strelai inish. They don't live in Stirling now. Ha nyeliad a furoch on in Strelai inish. Ha ruari a furoch on in Aberdeen. Ruari lives in Aberdeen. A virshu a furoch on in Lewis. Do you live in Lewis? A version of Furuch, Alna Lewis. Now, Alnan is default, that's the one you'll use most of the time, Alnan. -an. However, there is Alnan um, Hami a Furuch, Alnan um. Now, what I want you to do is pause yourself. Go Hami a Furuch, Alnan um. And you will notice that you finish off um on your lips, and that's why we use Alnan um. We make these sounds on our lips so it's easier for our tongue to move from um to the words, which we're going with B, P, if or M, and you'll notice that you make all those sounds on your lips. So you go ha padrig a furroch on em piast, ha padrig a furroch on em piast, ha fumlig a furroch on em fever, ha fumlig a furroch on em fever, ha behak a furroch on em barai, ha behak a furroch on em barai, ha mired a furroch on em malik. Ha mairet a furoch on a malik. Fever, of course, the Gaelic for Fife, and many people learning 
Gaelic and Fife these days too. So that felt very uh, My Fair Lady. The rain in plain falls mainly on the whatever. But anyway, Hami Furo Alm Um goes with B, P, F or M. There is another one, and you'll notice there were words which begun with a un, quite a few, like in Chilean Skeno and Geriston, and we use Hami Afuroch Alms with those words. Hami Afuroch Alms. And we use this for places and things that begin with what we call the definite article, the, in English. In Gaelic, this can have several forms, un, um, uh, apostrophe, or na. And... Most of these, apart from na and un in front of certain letters, will be shortened to a apostrophe after alms. And you'll see that in the next um, slide. For example, in chilan skianoch, the T is dropped. Hamia furoch alms in yilan skianoch. Hashinia furoch alms in yilan skianoch. In gerestan, ha mark a furoch alms a gerestan. Ha mark a furoch alms a gerestan. Mark lives in Fort William. In Terebersht, Tarburt. Chanyele a furoch, alms in Terebersht. Chanyele a furoch, alms in Terebersht. He does not live in Tarburt. Two rather odd place names, both in English and in Gaelic. Bully and for throws, Evanachain, I guess, Echanani. Avel Ruri a furoch, alms Evanachain. Chanyel, hai a furoch, alms Echanani, Inish. A will ruari a furoch on the vanachai. Chanyel. A furoch on the chanani. Inish. Those words already united. A apostrophe H. So no need to change them. Here's a talk exercise for you to do with a partner. Catch a velu a furo. Cleat them. Atin va. Hallo a harage. Kim a how. Jew. Ask them their name in reply. Jane tenem a horst. It's Mrs. Seamus. Hello, Hamish. Use the vocative case. Hello, Hamish. Hello, Hamish. First person. Catch you, Lou Furo. Catch you, Lou Furo. Hammy Furo, Hammy no Prien. Second person. Catch you, Lou Hane Furo. Oh, Hamish Furo, Alan Glasgow. Tapalat. Tapalat. Pause the slide and have a go. Falchadash, welcome back. Now you know how to write your name and where you live. Do that yourself now. For example, give the example. Smishiruari Makagoi, Hami Furuch on Glasgow. Write a sentence about yourself after pausing the slide. Falchadash, this is an Edrhengi exercise. Translate these sentences into English. You have to write their na the name, their, the place they live, and what the weather is like. You'll notice that there are two uh, additions. Rho plus an H is the Gaelic for two, T-double-O. And Maristrike, usually. Maristrike. So there are six sentences. Translate them into Gaelic. The answers are on the next slide. Pause the slide, and when you're ready, reveal the answers. Fadjit Rash, here are the Fregerston, the answers. So if you want to pause the slide and correct your uh, what you did. Falche Erash. Catch a velu a doll. Where are you going? Not catch a velu furo. Where are you staying or where do you stay? But catch a velu a doll. Now, what we learnt previously about Alnan, Alnan and Alms um, goes with this as well. So for those place names that use alman al um, um, you use a uh for going to. Uh. So you use a uh for all place names except those with an article. There's no alman al um thing going on here. And what they do is they one out where possible for he is going to Glasgow, ha e adol a Glasgow, ha e adol a Glasgow. Hashina adol a Renage. Jane is going to Edinburgh. Hashina adol a Renage. Hami adol a lewis. Doesn't one night in writing. Hami adol a lewis. And Hami adol a nyerevi. I'm going to Norway. Hami adol a nyerevi. So you'll see there certain letters don't one night. And we'll explore that in more detail. 
Now, for those words you used ounce for, you're going to use gan or ton. Both of these exist in the language. Um, and that's for saying I'm going to the. It unites where possible also, if it's not already united. Hami dol gan a gerestan, or hami dol gan gerestan. I'm going to Fort William. Ha Katie a dol gan oban. Ha Katie a dol gan oban. Katie is going to oban. Ha ruari a dol gan a vanachai. Ha ruari a dol gan a vanachai. Rory is going to Puli. Ha me dol ton raing. I'm going to France. Ha me dol ton raing. So remember that catch a bill with dol. You'll need to use ha me dol a. Or ha me dol gan. Or ha me dol ton. Now, this slide might not apply to you if you are learning as a adult, but you can still use it to apply to other people, or you can talk about where you're learning Gaelic. Where do you go to school? A dog art school, new academy. Are you going to a high school or to an academy? A dog art school, new academy. There's another form of two, which you'll see there, gu, which is sometimes used. And gu, hamidol gu, doesn't unite, and it tends to get used with places which are not, eh, don't have their own Gaelic word, like Tesco, hamidol gu Tesco. But don't overuse it, it has a slightly different meaning to a uh, or again, um, which can be explained later on. But just be careful about using gu eh, in many situations. Try and use a uh, or again where possible. So here's a scribig for you. This time, rewrite what you wrote earlier on. Write your name and where you live, and write where you go to school or where you're learning Gaelic. For example, Lexi's one here. It's Michelle Lexi Heimbel. Xami Furo Han and Fiva. Hami Adol Gu Isco. Pause the slide and write your paragraph. Okay, Falche Arash. We've returned to the question Ko Asa How. Where are you from? Ko Asa How. Remember, ko doesn't mean who in this situation. So here you'll see some countries. I hope your geography is good. And in the same way that we have a hamidol a and hamidol gan, or hamifuro al nun and hamifuro ounce, there are two ways to see the preposition a. And we'll look at these on the next slide. So we use this. Um, we can use this structure to see where we're from. Sound a alba ahami. I am from Scotland. Sound a alba ahami. But here's some countries. We'll look at this on the next slide. Alba, Scotland. Eating, Ireland. Sassing, England. Sassing. Nyiriri, Norway. Canada. America. Sheena. Australia. And they're all using a. Sauna Alba Hami. I'm from Scotland. But on the other side, a Hummeri, Wales. A Hummeri. A Nyedalch, Italy. A Nyedalch. A Nrang, France. A Nrang. A Geremach, Germany. A Geremach. A fola, a fola. And two wine, Sweden. A fola, Poland. The start in Unice, the United States. Nahinchichi, India. Nahinchichi. And they go with sound as a hami because they all begin with the definite article. Sound as a humari, a hami. I'm from Wales. Sound as a humri, a hami. So in the same way you use al nun or al nam, as explained before, and a, uh, we use a uh for place names that don't have the article. A uh, does it unite. Sound a alaba hami, sound a eni a hami. Now you can also just say hami a alaba or hami a eni or hami a sassing. And that's basic, but if we learn sound a, uh, a hami just now, we don't have to be basic. We want to show off how good we are at the language, even at this early stage. And in the same way we use ounce for a ganner and ganner thong, we use as for place names that don't have, that do have the article. 
As only one nights if the place name isn't one nighted already. So sound asa humari ahami already one nighted doesn't need to change. Sound asa full one ahami. And again, you can say hami as if you want to be basic. You don't want to be. So we're going to look here. Ko asa ha ia. This is a exercise. Write a sentence saying where each person is from. Remember to use the correct form a and as and use the sound construction. You've been given the place that they're from. You've also been given uh, the person that's in the sentence. And um, once you have done these, you can pause the slide and then once you've done them all, you can check out your answers on the next um, slide. So Falcherash, here's the answers. Quite a lot to be going on here. Um, so if you want to pause it, double check. You might want to show the, your answers to a um, teacher or to your tutor. And um, if you've got any questions, then please ask, be, don't be afraid to ask them. So welcome back to this one. Also now got a Skrivig exercise for you, just adding to what you've done already. But make sure you always rewrite what you did previously. This time you're going to write your name and where you live, write where you are from and write where you go to school or where you're learning Gaelic. Look at the example below. Shuto roh an tenem horom. Hamia furoch an in inner niche. Sain awa but a hami. Hamia dog u isko. So pause the slide, do your text, and then make sure you show it to somebody. Okay, Fajirash, um, we have a little extension task for you. You might want to see this. If you want to be really fancy, you can say, Rukik me. I was born. Rukig me. I was born. And hukig me. I was raised. Hukig me. I was raised. Rugig. I guess hukig me. I was born and raised. Rugig. I guess hukig me. Alma Glasgow. I was born and raised in Glasgow. Catch in the rugig too. Where were you born? Catch in the rugig too. I was born in Glasgow. Rugig me. Alms and Ryan. I was born in France. Rugging me on Glasgow, a hooking me on Piarst. I was born in Glasgow, but raised in Perth. Hooking me on the Stach in Ernice. I was raised in the USA. So just a, a little way to add some richness to your Gaelic. Skrivig. Here's a skeeving example for you. Write your name where you live, write where you're from, write where you were born and raised, write where you go to school. Esmisha Mary Vadoch. Hami Furoch an the Nobat. Sine Eri a Hami. Rukig me on the Nieri, a hooked me on the Mulle. Hami Tokuisko. Pause and write your, write your uh, paragraph. Tap life. Okay, welcome back. This is the final part of this exercise. You'll want to pair up with as many parts as possible for this. Um, you're in an airport, a Porsche R. And you're going to choose a country that you're from, from the list that we've done, and a country you're going to. Um, you're going to an airport and you're delayed, so start talking to people about where they're from and where they're going. Follow this pattern. Greet them and introduce yourself. Kwasahau, catch a and say goodbye in a suitable fashion if you want to the next person. Hello, Martin Va, it's Mr. Ruari. Hello, it's Mr. Kawa. Kwasahau, a Kawa. Sound as in Yetach, a hami. Kosa hau heen. Sound as in Rain, a hami. Catch of you at all. Hami at all can start in Unicher. Catch of you heen at all. Hami at all a yawab. Shug. Tap a lot. Tap a lot. Cherry. Martian life. Okay, pause that and have a go at that yourself. So that's the end of our uh, presentation there. Tap alive, uh, in the dunya on tannic shift. Remember the people you came from and where, wherever that is from. We're very happy to have you on this Gaelic learning journey and we will see you again shortly. And remember to check out the video um, regarding um, Gaelic place names when it becomes available.